Hai Kiran, respectable teachers, elders, youth and youngsters, mothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa It brings me great joy and happiness to be present for the first time in the Harrow community in the central masjid of Harrow. I thank each and every one member that has struggled in conducting today's beautiful, much needed, pertinent procession of Miladul Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and today's gathering. I pray to Allah Almighty, to our Rabb, Khaliq and Malik, that He accepts your efforts, your works, and takes you from strength to many strengths. I have been asked to speak about how we should love and respect the Noble Prophet And for this I chose two verses from two ayah from Al-Qur'an al from Surah Al-Fatih In those verses Allah Almighty our Creator says Inna arsalnaka shahidan wa mubashiran wa nadhira Addressing the beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and speaking to him directly. <coughs> Indeed, we have sent you, O Prophet, as a witness over humanity. And mubashiran, a bearer of glad tidings of good news. Wa and a warner. Why has he been sent? لِتُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ So, O oh people, you can believe in Allah and His Messenger. وَتُعَزِّرُوهُ And you support Him. وَتُوَقِّرُوهُ And you respect Him. وَتُسَبِّحُوهُ بُكْرَةً وَأَصِيلًا and that you pronounce and call out the purity and tasbih of Allah in the mornings and evenings. In these two verses, Allah Almighty, the one who revealed the Qur'an, the Creator Almighty, tells us there are three purposes, three reasons as to why Nabi Akhir Zaman sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa baraka wa sallam was sent to humanity. Reason number one is لِتُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ Is belief in Allah and His Messenger. It is to rectify aqeedah and bring sound and acceptable faith. Iman. So that people can correct their Iman and believe in Allah and His Messenger in the way they are ought to be believed in. This is the first purpose, maqsid, and reason to send him sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa baraka wa sallam. Number two, Another purpose of sending him is so that you can help his mission and his cause. And so that you can respect him and honor him. So ta'zeem of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, showing reverence to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, honoring him with his lofty titles, speaking of his merits, his manaqib, his fada'il, his khasa'is, his shama'il, his khasa'il, his beauty, his excellence, his divinity, his inner beauty, his outer beauty, his surah, his seerah, speaking of him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, honoring his name, raising his name on flags, in the streets, in the masjids, is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to do. So that you honor him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not qualify this, did not put any condition as to how we should honor him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So who are we to place any conditions on how we should honor him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So ihtiram of the Prophet, ta'zeem of the Prophet, of our beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is a maqsood of 
of the ayah is a reason for sending him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is a maqsood from the maqasid of the sharia is to honor him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to lift his name in humanity sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and to honor and respect him and show the world that we respect and love him sallallahu alayhi wa and that you honor him and extol his ranks and extol his praise sallallahu alayhi wa sallama one of the great imams of the arabic language his name was al mubarrid he said what does at tawkhir mean this word at tawkhir is on the scale of taf'il in the arabic language and the bab of taf'il comes from mubalagha a baligu fi ta'zimihi when you honor him then extol him as much as you can oh, honor him as much as you can why because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who honored him <laughs> allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who lifted him allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that ennobled him sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sahbihi wa baraka wa sallam so we cannot do enough justice in praising him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as the great imam al busiri rahimahullah ta'ala said in his qasida al burda that qasida al burda which was taught by the scholars of hadith imam ibn hajar al asqalani used to teach qasida al Burda. Imam Jalaluddin al-Suyuti used to teach Qasida al-Burda. Imam Abu Hayyan al-Undrusi was a student of Imam al-Busiri. Many great ulama of tafsir and hadith used to study the Qasida Burda and teach their students. This Qasida Burda is not just normal poem like any other na'ad written by any other poet. This is a Qasida that was acclaimed and accepted by the scholars of hadith. The ulama